Hi and welcome to the video explaining the administration functionality that relates to the life cycle. Now in our previous video we already showed you how to set the life cycle startup page. So in this video we'll cover the other administration functionality that still relates to the life cycle as well. Now you'll notice I've opened two tabs here at the top. The first one I'm going to leave open on the life cycle and the second one I'm going to use to access the administration module. So within the administration module I'm going to look at my user groups and I belong to this PPO administrator user group so I'm just going to demonstrate all the settings within my user group. So the first thing here within a user group is can this user group see the lifecycle menu item. Now the menu item is this button here at the top which gives them access to the life cycle. So if I take this access away and I submit, you will notice when I log in again, I will not even see that life cycle menu item here at the top. So I won't even know that it exists. So back to my user group, I'm just going to give the access back again, submit, and then just reopen my administrator group. So you'll also see now that that life cycle menu item is back. The second setting is now that I can see the life cycle, am I able to edit the life cycle? Yes or no. So within the functionality settings here is an option that says edit life cycle. So I'm going to take this option away, click on the submit button, and if I now refresh my first tab, before I do that, do you see that previously I had an edit icon here? Which meant I can add links in the life cycle and edit whatever I needed. But if I now refresh it, because I've taken that setting away, you will notice that I don't see that icon. So this is typically what a normal user would see that does not have access to edit the life cycle. Now back here within my user group, another setting here at the top is the life cycle startup SVG page. Now here you will notice is our six phase landing page. Now within a user group I can also determine the life cycle startup page that that user group must start with. So if it's blank like in this example it would inherit that default six phase landing page that you just saw now which has been set up in the system configuration. But if I wanted a specific life cycle just for my user group I could click on that drop down list, select that specific um, life cycle page, so let's I'll take that one as an example, submit, then if I refresh my first tab or click on the life cycle menu item again for my people administrator user group this will be the landing page that I see when I click on the life cycle. So the power of having that functionality is that you could run multiple life cycles on the same instance. So I hope this video helped you in understanding the administration functionality that relates to the life cycle. 